We are Elaine and Darren, and this is Max. In early 2018, we purchased a small piece of land in central Portugal, and in 2020, we purchased our tiny house. As soon as we are able, we will drive our self-built camper van to our little house and build a semi-self-reliant life for ourselves on our land. In the meantime, we continue to enjoy the UK and get a lot of pleasure from sharing our lives with you. If you would like to follow our journey, please subscribe to our channel. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the like button as that really helps our channel grow. We really hope you enjoy the video. So with us still here in the UK, we decided that what we'll do is uh, grow some of our own vegetables in our small little garden plot. So we went out the other day and we picked up some pallets and we've cut the pallets down into beds for our, for our garden. We've managed to get uh, three. So this is the biggest one that we have and we have one just there and we have one just here oh yeah and also for this one here this wasn't a pallet this was actually a piece of fencing uh, that we had as well a bit of spare fencing which was nice to have the same as this piece here so that was quite handy wasn't it Elaine yeah that was quite quite nice and it's made the beds quite a nice shape yeah we looked at them for every day for months and months since we changed the fence and then as soon as we thought oh we need some pallets we came back with the pallets and I went oh look there's some behind the shed <laughs> there's some nice wood so yeah. then we got some um, weed suppressant yep. for the inside that's this here uh, we got some weed suppressant and we've lined the raised bed and then we've put some cardboard in uh, which will break down um, naturally and uh, and help the compost. What else? What else does the cardboard do? Uh, yeah, it just helps um, hold up the moisture and moisture retention. The big weeds from coming through, although there shouldn't be any really big um, weeds come through in this part of the garden. Okay. Um, and then all of this sort of mess that we've just tipped in was. Uh, what I'd started composting in the compost bin here. So it's like clippings from the hedge and bits of when I've pulled things out of the rest of the garden and all the uncooked scraps from the kitchen, fruit, veg peelings, that kind of thing. So that's all gonna go underneath. And then we've got some compost just to go on the top. And then this will continue to break down and uh, feed the plants mm -hmm. and then we've got a selection of seeds that we're going to put in yeah tomorrow now um, yeah because quite late on the evening now so mm. it's uh, so hot it was too hot to work today so it was until the sun's gone down. so this is the compost sort of partially composted yeah i would say it's not very far in no but once the triggering and you can see all the little Creepies in there, you can see all the little wood lice and stuff, they're all like getting in there doing the job. Yeah, that's cool. So then we put a, a couple of bags of compost on top of this, yeah. and then that will be our beds. So that's the partially broken down compost in the bottom of the uh, raised bed. And now we've covered that with the bought compost on the top. That 
uh, raised bed itself has taken uh, six bags of uh, bought compost so that's uh, 300 litres in total so far uh, it's not completely full it could probably do with another couple of bags probably couldn't it Elaine probably, yeah. probably another two bags um, but uh, but that's uh, that's looking pretty good so far I think that is probably deep enough to grow in, maybe, but maybe a couple of extra bags might benefit. Depends what we're going to put in here. So, I'm sort of thinking because it's quite big, we can put some of the bigger things that like grow on the surface. Okay. Yeah, the turnips and um, fennel. The fennel and stuff like that, yes. Right. So, it may be. So because we were quite late in the growing season, we had a look on YouTube, of course, to see what uh, what opportunities we have for veg at this time of the year. We're now in July, middle of July. So uh, we're gonna be going into the winter months. So we watched uh, Jess uh, from Plot 37 and she gave us some ideas of things that you could grow around now. So we took a list of things and um, and we chose a selection from what Jess suggested. So we've got some uh, fennel, differenze, I think it's pronounced. Yep, some fennel. We've bought some Valmain cut and come again uh, lettuce. We've bought some uh, golden ball turnip. We've bought some celeriac, and that's the sort of thing that Elaine was mentioning. We'll be able to um, be able to use this straight away in there, um, even though the compost is probably about six inches deep, uh, because these are more surface um, vegetables. Uh, they'd be perfect, I think, for that uh, for that type of bed that we've got for this year. We've also got beetroots, uh, a variety a selection of colours and some uh, trusty carrots of course. So I have ordered a couple of other things on the internet as well which I haven't quite got here yet. I've ordered a different, um, a different variety, should I say, of carrot, a yellow carrot, um, and uh, some turnips, some purple top Milan turnips uh, as well. So that's quite a good selection and uh, quite a lot. So hopefully that'll do well and uh, feed us through some of the winter months. So that'll be really nice indeed. No. Why are you eating compost, Max? So we've done the one bed, so we're going to call that a day for today. Um, that's now ready to be planted up. We might get another couple of bags of compost just to put in there, just to top it up a little bit, but it's probably okay. Um, so yeah, so what we'll do is now we'll, uh, we'll get ourselves in and uh, we'll come back tomorrow, do the other two beds, maybe a bit early in the morning before it gets too warm again and uh, and then show you that and then we'll get on planting the seeds we've also managed to pick up a um, a, a couple of uh, bags of food for tomorrow morning or tomorrow after lunch so uh, so we're quite pleased with that so we're gonna nip across as well about lunchtime to to get those uh, a couple of hour uh, too good to go uh, bags of food that we've mentioned on previous videos so that would be uh, quite a nice day tomorrow if we can get that uh, get that sorted too so uh, yeah so what we'll do is we'll call it a day for this evening and we'll uh, get back to you in the morning okay so earlier in the day we decided to take a trip to Hill End many of you might recognize this place this was the the place that we uh, tried to do the van tour video for Jade's van but unfortunately the day wasn't quite uh, quite what we needed to do that tour. However, today we decided to take a trip back because it is a beautiful place. The weather today was very warm, it was 27 degrees I believe. So we wanted somewhere to dip our feet, somewhere a little river maybe we could just cool down a little bit in. Considering the weather, it was quite quiet today, there wasn't very many people around. Maybe it's because we were slightly later in the day. We turned up around three o'clock in the afternoon. So 
So we call this area Hill End. But this is actually Bollyhope Burn, which is on the site of the Bollyhope Quarry. And they used to quarry lime here. This is a lime kiln from the early 19th century. So good morning everyone. So I hope you enjoyed that little uh, montage of our little day out yesterday to uh, Hill End, uh, to the Bolly Oak Common. We really enjoyed it. It was a, quite a warm day, which was nice. Uh, not complaining, just quite warm. So uh, it's going to be a similarly warm day today. So um, the plan is for us to get the raised beds done. And as I also mentioned yesterday, we're also planning on picking up uh, a bag of food or a couple of bags of food from our local Morrisons. Well, it's not quite our local Morrisons, it's a little bit further away, it's down by the seafront. Uh, so we're going to go and hopefully pick up those um, those this afternoon as well. Uh, they're from the Too Good To Go app, uh, which I've uh, mentioned before. So, um, so yeah, so that's our plan for today. I'm feeling fully revitalised today, because uh, this morning I've uh, been running. I've just taken up running. I'm doing the Couch to 5K plan. Uh, I really enjoy it. It gets me running, it gets me fit. Uh, if there's any of you out there that are doing any fitness plans uh, at the moment, I'd be really happy to hear from you. Uh, so just leave a comment uh, below. It'd be lovely to hear what you're up to. So the plan for today then, as I said earlier in the video, is we're going to be doing the raised beds and collecting our food. Um, so uh, we'll take you along with us.
Eh well, never mind. So we've just had a, a little update on our Too Good To Go app and unfortunately our food collection for this afternoon has been cancelled. Um, the food store that uh, that was going to supply us with the bags of food has unfortunately not got any surplus food for today. Uh, so we just got a notification on the Too Good To Go app and uh, it's been cancelled. Nevertheless, we're still going to get out and uh, we're going to go and buy some compost and we need to pick up some food anyway, so uh, we'll still take you along with us. So I'm just sat in the van at the moment with Max. Uh, we're just waiting for Elaine to come out of Aldi. She's just getting a few bits and bobs while she's in there. Um, and I just wanted to pop on and just say that uh, we are so grateful for all of the uh, likes and comments that, uh, that you people have been giving us uh, on our most recent videos. Um, it's what basically keeps us going. It's what keeps us uh, making the next video. So uh, if you've got this far into the video, um, thank you. And just give us a like and we know. Uh, messages or comments are also absolutely fabulous. Uh, so yeah, so I just wanted to pop on and just say that whilst I had the opportunity. So thanks very much again.